When is Osugi Den's date of death? This eerie yet otherwise innocuous question was posted to Yahoo Answers on February 14th, 2018. Little did readers know that it was about to turn into a confusing and sprawling conspiracy featuring one of Japan's most beloved actors. Osugi Den was born on September 27th, 1951. He started acting in the 1980s and went on to become one of Japan's most beloved actors, often working alongside Kitano Takeshi. He even won a Best Supporting Actor award for his work in 1999. When the question over his death was posted on February 14th, Osugi was not only healthy and alive, he was still working, appearing on the television show Bystanders, which aired its first episode only one week beforehand, on February 7th. So why did someone want to know the date of his death if he was still alive? This is where the mystery quickly took a dark turn. Exactly one week later, Osugi Den died. The official cause was a heart attack, but as people dug more into it, a conspiracy theory began to bloom that perhaps something much more sinister was being covered up. All of this began with the user who posted the question, Hummer 0600. Although the question has since been deleted, people took screenshots to save it for posterity, and it's still available on the internet today. Posted at 7.40pm on February 14th, 2018, the question from Hummer 0600 said nothing more than, when is Osugi Den's date of death? Numerous people replied that he was still alive and well, and even appearing on TV. A little digging revealed that Hummer 0600's account was created that very same day, and that was the only thing posted from it. It appeared the account was created specifically to ask that question. Things got even creepier when people realised it was posted exactly one week before Osugi died. The way Yahoo Answers works is that questions stay open for one week before people are no longer able to answer. The question closed on the very same day Osugi died. A coincidence or something more? Theories began to spring up that Hama 0600 had to have known about Osugi's death, but how? Further digging found a Twitter account with the same name. The account has also since been deleted, but in the profile section it stated 126.33. .194.72. Find me. It had no tweets, no followers, nor was the account following anyone else. The number turned out to be an IP address, leading to the Tokyo Metropolitan Government Building. Find me. Was Hummer leading people on a wild goose chase? Was the IP address a hint that he or she was a parliament member, or trying to point towards someone who was. Who the hell is Hama 0600? Hama 0600 is terrifying. I've got chills. Everything hinted that Hama knew something, but what? Olsugi died suddenly from a heart attack. He was healthy and working right up until it happened. He even filmed a variety show the day before his death and showed no signs of illness. But was it really a heart attack? The conspiracy deepened as people began to wonder if Hummer was trying to tell them something. After all, heart attack is said to be the common cause of death given when the real cause of death is unknown, or somebody wants it to be hidden from public knowledge. What if Osugi didn't die from a heart attack? What if it was something else? The mystery took an even stranger turn when users looked into Hummer's username. Wondering what Hummer 0600 could mean, people soon noticed something interesting. Nadaha Machi in Fukushima Prefecture had the numbers 0600 in its postal code. Nada Hama Chi. 0600. The user was potentially from Fukushima, or at the very least, hinting at something there. That alone wouldn't be strange, and 
They would hardly be the first person to use part of a city name, or even postcode, in their username. But the conspiracy went even further. What made this discovery chilling was that Olsugi Den was scheduled to appear in an upcoming NHK drama about the Fukushima earthquake in 2011 that destroyed the nuclear power plant. He was set to play the plant manager, Yoshida Masao. Yoshida played a key role in the disaster, disobeying orders from above to stop using seawater to cool the reactors. Yoshida feared Reactor 1 was going to overheat and melt down, so he gave the order to use seawater to cool it. When the higher-ups heard this, they ordered him to stop immediately, fearing that this would spread contaminants into the ocean. But Yoshida ignored them and ordered workers to continue. This decision saved the reactor from melting down, and, according to nuclear physicist Dr. Kaku Michio, saved Japan from a much larger disaster. Yoshida was diagnosed with esophageal cancer one year later, but it was determined to be unrelated to the Fukushima disaster due to how fast it developed. He died a year later, on July 9, 2013. Olsugi was set to play Yoshida in an upcoming drama about the Fukushima disaster. Hama 0600 potentially referred to a city in Fukushima Prefecture. Their Twitter profile pointed to the Tokyo Metropolitan Government Building, and they posted the question asking about Olsugi's death a week before it happened, timed perfectly to close on the very same day he died. No matter which angle you look at it from, the whole thing was strange. Very strange. The day before his death, Olsugi filmed Guru Guru 99, a variety show where celebrities visit a restaurant with the show's hosts to eat and chat. On this particular day, Olsugi paid for everyone's meals, showing off his kind and generous nature. Yet, something he said also caught people's attention and added to the already swelling conspiracy. He said his stomach felt sore, so his sudden death is really strange. People tend to say it's a heart attack when they don't know what the cause of death is. After eating, Olsugi-san complained of a stomach ache, and then he passed away, so maybe his food was poisoned. If so, then maybe Hama 0600 has something to do with all this. How terrifying. Was Olsugi poisoned? It's suspicious that he complained of stomach aches the day before he suddenly died, but it's also possible it was nothing more than a coincidence. But coincidence after coincidence was starting to look fishy. If there's smoke, there has to be fire somewhere, right? This conspiracy wasn't limited to just Knee Channel and Twitter. Numerous entertainment blogs picked up on it, posting their own articles about the strangeness behind it all. Had a beloved Japanese actor actually been killed in some large-scale government conspiracy? If so, why? What could he have possibly known or done to make the government go to such lengths to cover up his death? It couldn't just be his upcoming role in the Fukushima nuclear power plant disaster. There had to be something else behind it too. It made for juicy articles, for sure and the conspiracy continued to pick up steam. But ultimately, it was just that. A conspiracy theory. The true answer may have lain somewhere else. It was nothing more than a simple misunderstanding. The first episode of Bystanders aired on February 7, a week before Hama 0600 posed their question. In the episode, Olsugi and some other characters ended up stranded on a deserted island. This meant that they were unable to attend filming and the crew had no idea where they were. During the episode, the following exchange took place with two other characters. Let's all do our best, so this will turn out to be a great memorial service. Olsugi isn't dead, he lives on in our hearts. Sorry, uh, I was joking. It was just a joke. It's possible that Hama saw this in passing and mistook the drama for a real-life event. 
Confused, they later visited Yahoo Answers to find out when Osugi had died, unable to find information on it elsewhere. Only he wasn't dead, because Bystanders was a drama. But it's easy to see how someone might be confused if they happen to hear that line coming from the TV in passing. How does that explain everything else? It doesn't, because it doesn't need to. The Twitter account was created after the Yahoo Answers post, so it's possible it wasn't even the same person. It could have been someone else pretending to be the same user, to help spread the conspiracy. Osugi's stomach ache the night before he died could have been just that. A stomach ache, and nothing more. And tying Hama 0600's username to Fukushima requires a little stretching, getting from Narahamachi to Hama. Hama is an extremely common combination of letters in Japan, so the name could signify anything, as could the numbers. There's no denying the large number of coincidences are fishy, but there's also zero proof that any of them are related, or in some cases, even true. Was Osugi Den murdered in an unknown government plot that someone tried to reveal on the internet? Or was it a simple misunderstanding by someone who heard a throwaway line on his latest drama, and then, by coincidence, he actually did die a week later? The simplest answer is often the correct one, but either way, the conspiracy is still going strong today. What do you guys think of this one? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you again next time.